Hi folks and welcome back to Old School Studios. The good old Kush boxes. Um, they're the very small little vape cart um, box and they're very convenient and small but the if you uh, chief on them too hard the the white wire separates from the bottom so I am going to show you one more time how I fix these and I have been fixing them a lot alright so the first thing you gotta do is take out these three little tiny screws and you need a little bitty bitty um, I mean this thing's tiny so you need a tiny little screwdriver to get in you got one there's the long screw right in that hole and uh, there's two little short screws in these two holes so you pull those out and um, I have one already done when you pull those out you do not you the, if you pull out and the little motherboard slides out you're gonna lose the position of this button I'm trying to get out of the shadow here this little button will fall in and it's hard to get that button back in so what I do is when I pull it apart I wrap a piece of green tape or any tape around there not super sticky tape but you want to keep the motherboard pushed in place so you don't lose the little black button alright so <clears throat> what I'm talking about here I have a great piece of green tape ready to go I'm gonna pull this apart and you don't want this little motherboard sliding out because that's holding this little black button in so on all of them I wrap a piece of tape I start here I hold the motherboard in and come around and just hook it to itself it's easy to get off because trust me I had that little button fall in and I thought I lost it and it turns out it was like hemmed up inside of there it's just bullshit so another thing you gotta do this is the little white wire that needs to be back attached right there and um, I need to get some of the insulation off of this wire Oh, this camera sucks! There's a couple things you're going to need to complete this job. You're going to need a little soldering iron. You're going to need some solder. And you're going to need some flux. This just happens to be a water-based flux for... Um, potable water and it'll be just fine when you plug in your soldering iron get it nice and hot and then clean this tip with some sandpaper and get it back down to copper and your new solder will stick much better just a little tip I learned alright so while we're waiting for the solder iron to heat up we want to clean some of this insulation off of the white wire so we have exposed copper and these are micro small I don't even know if my uh, I may have to shave this with yeah I may have to shave this with a razor blade so get yourself a sharp razor or a pair of scissors and don't squeeze too hard you don't want to cut through it but uh, with a super sharp pair of scissors you could just kind of latch on to the white insulation and pull it and get some of that off
It's so small I could barely hold it. You can see this. I'm telling you what, this camera... So we got a little bit of, of uh, wire showing and we're going to do this one. Get a little bit of wire showing. There we go. That was a nice one. It came right off. All right, so. I'm waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. I'm going to show you how I clean the tip. I'm going to prepare both of these with flux so the new solder knows where to stick appropriately. And we'll be right back at you. Alright, so this thing is pretty hot. And you want to clean up this tip. The cleaner you can make it, it's kind of like... Um, when you're soldering pipes, the cleaner you could get the copper, the better the solder is going to stick. That's what I've come to the conclusion of. I have no formal training in this, but I have been soldering pipes for probably 32 years. So, um, the cleaner the surface, the better the solder sticks. And I was like, why won't my solder stick? I mean, I watched countless videos, but I've never seen anyone clean the tip. You gotta keep your clip tip clean. So. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, now we're going to prepare the, um, the flux onto both of these, and uh, we'll get ready to solder. So where the soldering is going to happen is in a kind of a tight little spot right here. It's this little point right there that has to get this, the flux. So... I'm going to take some of this um, partially polluted flux here, dig down in there and get a little bit on the tip of my pencil. You see it there? And I'm going to get in here and set it right on top of that. Okay. Okay, you see, I'm going to get another download of it, you see, and, um, I don't know why I'm talking like this, I just, like, so, the purple one, get down in there, and set a little, uh, too much. Too much. Too much too soon. Too much. Alright, that looks kind of nice. Oh, yes indeed. Alright. Another thing is... I've seen a um, fellow on the YouTube was soldering model trains and he took his iron and he dipped his iron into the flux. I don't know if that's a good thing and I don't know if that's a bad thing. All I know is I've seen a guy who's been in the model train industry for 117 years do that. So.
get a oh should be sticking and it's not all right there's a little bit on there I need six more hands, so I'll be right back at you. All right, I'm holding this thing, and oh, I don't know if we'll get it. Let's see if we could if we could do it. God, my fingers need to be like little bitty Smurf hands. Okay, let's try this again. I got this one on there. And what I'm going to do is get me a little more solder. Set it right on there. Oh man, I disconnected it. This is so hard to hold. See, I would have lost that button if I didn't tape it in there. That little motherboard would have shot out. It would have been over. Oh my god. I think I got it. I think I got it. This camera is unbelievable though. It just like, I got sawdust in between the lenses somehow and um, somehow I had it sitting on my miter box, that somehow. But it just like, it will not zoom in. This thing used to zoom in unbelievable like when I first got it. And so I, I bought a, a two year warranty and I called them up about the warranty and the guy said well you have to call Canon and or contact Canon and if they can't fix it th then you have to use the Allstate coverage that you bought. I'm like Allstate? I didn't buy ca a car. I didn't know Allstate is like selling camera insurance now so apparently they are and um like if you were to use your Allstate, how I have to go without a camera, so I might as well just go buy a new camera, and uh, that's where I'm at with it. As long as it still was kind of working. So as I'm yabbering here, I'm not not doing nothing, and I should be showing you. I'm trying to get this little wire lined up and hold it in place, so I could get another dab of a. Uh, I don't know, that might be close enough. Let's see if I can get some solder. Oh, missed it. Oh yeah, I missed it good and proper too. It's just in such a tight little spot that you can't like, and my fingers are like sausages. They're sausages, I'm telling you. 
Danny, would you like some sausage? Would you like some sausages? For those of you that are old like me, you might remember what that's from. Come on, just sit right there nicely for a second. Just give me a second. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. Hold on, let me get some more solder. I don't know if I got any. Missed it. Did I get it? Did I get it? I don't know if I had enough solder on there. Got it. You see that? I got it. So what I was doing with these was, once I got them soldered, <coughs> excuse me, I was uh, starting up my um, hot glue gun, and I was like injecting hot glue all in around it, and that was what I thought was a good idea to hold that wire in place but ooh, the next time it quit working then I had to dig all that hot glue out of there to fix it again so there was a couple couple people I know have these and they always want me to fix them for them and all the ones that came back I could tell which ones I've been in because I had hot glued them Another one I had taken that black liquid black the liquid black tape and I liquid black taped around it. That was also well it wasn't as bad as the uh it wasn't not as bad as the ones that I hot glued because that turned out to be a real train wreck getting that out of there. So what you do is flip this baby around, take your tape off and try not to lose the little button and try not to knock the wires off I use the I, I like to use the green tape it seems um, that it do, it sticks good but then it comes all apart good so here's the button make sure that buttons in there All right. So you want the big screw. And the big screw goes right here. Now the battery on my camera's dead. I didn't even film that much. The little screw.
Oh, I didn't have that all the way in. Takes a very steady hand. So there you have it folks, two rebuilt Kush boxes and uh, thank you for watching Old School Studios, feel free to hit like and subscribe, we're always coming up with new fresh content for you, take care folks.